snowfall is well off towards our northeast. You can kind of see some flurry action just off towards our northwest. So we'll keep flurries in the forecast through the rest of the night tonight, but not expecting any more accumulations. Now, cloud coverage is going to decrease overnight, so that means they will exit. And we're going to see temperatures get even colder. We'll fall into the upper teens and the low 20s, but feel like temperatures are going to be even colder than that. It'll feel like the single digits and the low teens throughout the morning tomorrow. And in the afternoon, it's only going to feel like the upper teens. Then Tuesday, it's going to feel even colder. We could see wind chills as low as zero degrees. And then in the afternoon, only feeling like the low 20s. So yes, Monday and Tuesday are going to be very cold. Highs are barely even going to make it above the freezing point. So any kind of snow melt that we had today does have the chance to refreeze and create some icy conditions over the next two days. So be careful when you're traveling. Take it easy, drive slow around some bends, especially on bridges and some ramps. Luckily, by the second half of the work week, we improve, as in we warm up back into the low to mid 40s. That does come with a few rain chances, and we'll have to watch how this system will play out, because we could even see a rain and snow mix. Rain could be as early as Thursday afternoon. Then if it passes through the morning hours on Friday, that's where we'll have to watch for some of that rain and snow mix. So again, dry for much of this week, but then we have some wet weather to close the end of the work week. Very, very cold overnight tonight, dipping into the teens and the low 20s. Then we have highs only in the upper 20s and the low 30s Monday and Tuesday, but it's going to be feeling like the teens. Improvement for the second half of the work week back into the 40s. Some wet weather Thursday and Friday that might carry into the weekend, but so does the 40s. So again, it'll feel a lot better compared to the next two days, Aaron.